there's two discrete types of weakness. One is just the weakness of non-paralyzed muscles. So the classic example here is a person with paraplegia who needs to get up off the floor. They need really, really strong arms. But that weakness in the arms might be a problem for them. But in actual fact, there's nothing wrong with their arms. Their arms are like an able bod. And so that's one type of weakness. And the other type of weakness is partially paralyzed muscles. So these are muscles that have been directly affected by spinal cord injury and they might have a grade strength of one all the way through to four plus but their weakness is actually neurologically induced. There's absolutely no doubt that following a spinal cord injury partially paralyzed muscles get stronger so there's been evidence around to support that for 20-30 years but the really critical question is about whether what we do as physiotherapists, whether that actually is effective. So can we increase strength over and above what would happen naturally or spontaneously? And that's really the area of um, my interest. We've been primarily focusing on the low reps, high, high load, so progressive resistance type training with or without electrical stimulation. And what we've found is that progressive resistance training, as what you do as an able-bod person, is effective in the quite strong muscles, in the large you know, leg muscles or arm muscles that are quite strong. But what we've also found is um, that in the weaker muscles, it's actually much harder to get increases in strength. So there's a lot of questions around the responsiveness of those very weak muscles to any sort of strength training, and in particular, what training paradigm is most effective for them. Looking at all the evidence that's out there, my recommendation to clinicians would be if you're talking about grade three, four muscles, then to really try and you know follow what we know from AbleBot, so progressive resistance training. But if you're doing weaker muscles, then the jury's still out. But probably I would be encouraging people to do high repetitions.